game where people really kind of noticed noticed you that maybe kind of like put you on the radar uh, outside of Lawrence? Because I mean, obviously people here knew about you. But. I mean, yeah, I think so. I think so. I agree. So I mean, did you like feel like that was a really important kind of step for your for your college career to have that kind of production against a national kind of powerhouse team? Well, it's definitely, uh, but all the credit got to go to the line because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had never bit of the yards I had, and you know, so I gotta shout them out. Playing against an elite caliber program like Oklahoma, did that kind of contribute to it too? I mean, did you feel like, hey, this is a bigger stage than normal? It's a chance to really show myself against a high caliber team. Oh, yeah, most definitely. That's, and that's another reason I feel like we play how we play because. They're a bigger team, they was ranked, it was everything we wanted and gave us motivation to compete against. Harder, compete harder against. With that in mind, what's this week like? I mean, is it when you're gearing up for a team that is one of the easily one of the ten best teams in the country, a perennial power, one of the you know, the dominant teams in the Big Twelve, does it feel like the competition level maybe goes a little higher in practice? I mean, is it different getting ready for something like that? Of course it is. I mean, just you're drilling and rushing and you just you want you're ready to play because it's high, it's high standards, and you don't want to just go in there just thinking it's a regular team. You want to have, like, because they got a chip on their shoulder, and we're trying to get their chip. What was your favorite play from that Oklahoma game? I don't even have a favorite play, to be honest. <laughs> None of those runs? So some of those were crazy. You were going backwards and around and, you know, breaking tackles. I mean, that's just, no, I really don't, though. Do. I don't, <laughs> I don't. Okay. Uh, were you surprised it was so difficult to kind of get things going running wise at TCU on Saturday? I mean, yeah, but you know, like I said before, the linebackers they don't play when they play us. They don't play true to their game. They just see a hole and fill a hole. Were you seeing anything different? Uh, I mean, as far as the defensive looks that they were using with their run game, because it it just was kind of out of character for for you guys as running backs because you. And had a lot of good games already this season. I mean, not really. It's, it was the same thing. He just was filling holes and scraping off the edge. Can, can you evaluate just so far how you feel about how productive you've been so far, just your overall game through so far this season? I mean, I'm, I'm not right. I ain't, you know, I ain't, well, I feel like, I feel like it's more a team thing. Like, by the team, whatever they need me to do and that's what I do instead of, you know, just worry about my self stats now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a team thing. What do you think can happen to get you right for this year? I mean, I was just playing team football, mm -hmm. like not playing selfish football. Did you get a sense that, like, TCU was kind of prepared for you to cut back maybe more so than other teams have been? Yeah, 100% because like, when we watched film, it was like they stayed home. Mm -hmm. Like when I reverse field say anything, they stayed home. They didn't track or nothing but I mean let's call it like the Barry Sanders rule or something like that. <laughs> so yeah that's good to get the Barry Sanders, yeah. Sanders rule on you right I mean some respect <laughs> technically <laughs>